The PN junction is a semiconductor structure in diodes, transistors, solar cells, and LEDs. In the previous video, we saw that adding dopant atoms to silicon produces an abundance of mobile electrons, or holes. This piece of silicon is doped with boron with decreasing concentration from left to right. Here is a graph of dopant concentration as a function of x. Each boron atom is an acceptor that produces a mobile hole. Graphing the hole concentration, you might expect an exact match with the boron concentration. However, this is not a stable equilibrium state. Draw a line anywhere, and you will find holes more abundant to the left. As the holes move randomly, more cross from left to right than right to left, so there is an overall net flow toward the right called diffusion. Heat spreading through a solid object or an odor spreading through a sealed room are also examples of diffusion. After diffusion runs its course, you might expect the holes to settle into a flat, even distribution. But this is also not a stable state. On the left side, the immobile, negatively charged boron atoms outnumber the positively charged holes, so the material has a net negative charge. On the right side, the opposite is true. The charged areas produce an electric field that pushes the holes toward the left. Flow caused by an electric field is called drift. This graph shows the actual equilibrium state. The hole concentration slope causes diffusion toward the right, but this is exactly balanced by drift toward the left. Although holes are constantly in motion, the total net flow is zero at every point along the block of silicon. In the next video, we consider an even more drastic doping profile, the PN junction.